Hey, this is Jesus Castillo from rubyguides.com and in this video I want to show you how to use the hash merge method. The hash merge method. So let me show you, explain what that is and how is it useful. So let's say we have the hash A and it has one element, uh, for example, bacon one. Okay, just a hash for the, this example. And then we have another hash, it's called the hash B, and it has another um, value, different value. Okay, so for example, chocolate two. And we want to match them. We want to put them together. So the values, we have both these values on the same hash. How can you do that? Well, you can do that using the merge method. So the merge method, we need to start with one hash. So let's start with A. Then we call merge like that. And then as a parameter to this method, to merge, we pass another hash. So important that both things, both variables, need to be pointing to some hash for this to work. And now when I run this code, we get a new hash. So when I say a new hash, that's important because that means that a and B didn't change, they are still the same. But if we merge them like this, we get a new hash, which has the elements of A and B combined into one hash. So that's what you can do with merge. And there is something you need to know, what happens if A and B have one key, one element, or multiple keys with the same name. So let's say, for, for example, that B, let's go to B, it has on top of chocolate, it also has bacon, okay? So let's do that. And the value is different as well. The value is three. So now, what is going to happen when we merge them? We can't have two bacons. We can have bacon three and bacon one because one of the rules of the hash is that you can only have one. You can have, it's unique. A hash, the keys are unique. So you can have repeated values like in, in an array. It has to be unique. So what's going to happen when we merge them is that the merge method is going to take the value from B as the newest value. So let me show you. There we go. As you can see, when we merge A and B like this, we get bacon free chocolate too. Why bacon free? because we used to have bacon one, but the new value is bacon free. Now, what if you want this to be the other way around? Well, you switch the order. So instead of A merge B, you do B merge A. So what happens now is that A is taking priority. A is taking preference. So that's how you do that. You switch the order of the merging. So that's one thing that is important. If you are taking notes, which I, it's always good, this is one thing to take note of. So that's the merge method. You might find this in some methods that to set like default values, you can do like an options um, parameter or argument. And then you can have some 
default values and then you merge the past values, the given values with the default. So you can have like a default. So instead of A and B, it could be default and new, right? That's what I mean. So this could be like default and then B instead of V, it could be like new values, something like that. And then we will merge the default with the new values, right? So that's one thing match is used for. So I hope you find this useful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel now by clicking on the button. You will find somewhere below this video. It says subscribe. And also you might click on, might want to click on the, after you subscribe, there is a little bell icon. There is a little bell icon. Okay. And when you click that, it will make sure that YouTube sends you notifications of new videos. And I will keep making new videos for you so you can keep learning new Ruby methods, uh, techniques, ideas, concepts, and things to help you become a better Ruby developer. Okay, so do that, subscribe. And if you like this also, it helps if you give me a like by clicking the like button below. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. See you in another video.